Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. This video has to do with my five most cherished handguns. Not necessarily guns that I'm going to take to the range on a regular basis or guns that I even carry. Just cherished handguns, the kind that I will never move away from. So let's get to it. Six Hour has many different variants in their P226 line, but this one is a little different. It's a Talo exclusive called the P226 ASC. It stands for Alloy Stainless Elite. It has an alloy aluminum frame that has a PVD coating, and that cuts down on the overall weight by 10 ounces compared to the steel frame models. A stainless slide, and it's an Elite model. Get a load of those rosewood grips. It's beautiful. With a 4.4 inch barrel, does have front serrations, a rail, and mags that carry 15 rounds. Many law enforcement use this as their duty gun. What I like also is the trigger is SIG's SRT trigger. It stands for short reset trigger, and there it is. Check that out. But it performs great at the range. It's smooth, it's accurate, it does exactly what you need it to do. I, I love it. It's just such a nice shooting handgun, and it's a beautiful handgun, which is why I definitely cherish it. I have said on many occasions that I'm a huge fan of 1911 handguns, but here we have a Remington R1 Limited that is a double stack. So many people call it a 2011, but it has a mag that carries 15 rounds in 45 ACP. It has a PVD coated slide and frame, 5 inch barrel, and a trigger that I'm measuring at 4 pounds. And this is why I love 1911s right there. That short single action trigger pull. G10 grips, flared out magwell, LPA adjustable sights, fiber optic front sight, and its loaded weight with 15 rounds of 45 is 54 and a half ounces. I love everything about this gun. It is a phenomenal shooter and it does have a full length guide rod, but I cherish it. I think it's amazing. I love the 1911s and 15 rounds of 45 through a 2011. I, I just can't speak highly enough about it. I love a solid hand cannon. I love Desert Eagles, and I love this case-hardened model. Look at that. The barrel, the frame, all case-hardened, which means there are no two that are the same. Walnut grips, 6-inch barrel, and chambered in 50 Action Express. A 300-grain bullet. They even get larger than that. But the magazine holds 7 rounds, and it's a single-action gun. I measure the trigger right at four and a half pounds very nice shooter extremely accurate with that six inch barrel the power that you behold when you shoot these is just amazing it doesn't make you feel powerful but you appreciate the power that it delivers and being that it's an all steel model it just eats up that recoil it's extremely accurate it does have a rail on top a nice sight picture a slide mounted thumb safety and that beautiful walnut grip just sets this off it's a one-of-a-kind desert eagle and i cherish it how could i not include john browning's last design called the high power get a load of that just a beautiful handgun all steel frame single action only Nice feel, uh, very smooth shooter, has mags that carry 13 rounds. It is a single action only with a magazine disconnect, but it's not so much the function. I do love the function, but I love the iconic history behind it, knowing that this was Browning's last design, knowing that, knowing that Browning's not even producing this anymore, that this has all of a sudden become a collector's item, and this is in such good condition. It's, it's just a phenomenal handgun. Now, Browning was selling these for over $1,000, and since they stopped producing it on the used market it's increased in value so people want them people want them for their collections and i'm just so fortunate to have this i cherish it i think it's amazing and i have no plans of ever getting rid of it here we have a beautiful colt python produced in 1994 it's an original 
back then they hand assembled fit and polished these Colt pythons now this one here has a six inch barrel stainless steel like the pythons it's a six shot with incredible action get a load of this single action trigger it is amazing now I know the Colt produces the python now those are cnc machined and everything and i am for that i think that is great that they're doing it i hope more people can get their hands on a cold python but i don't think anything will replicate the original cold python i am so proud to have this i've enjoyed it since the day that i've owned it and i am cherishing this until the day that i die those are my five most cherished handguns. Let me know what you think of my choices and also let me know what are your most cherished handguns. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.